Holy shit. Oh my god. Avatar, people. Avatar. Oh boy. Okay, right. That was a little bit overdramatic, I know. But I was trying to get in the mood of how I felt after watching this movie. Okay. Right. So this is Avatar. It's come from James Cameron, who's given us such epics. Or rather, such great movies. First of all, as Terminator 1. Terminator 2, Aliens, The Abyss, although I haven't seen it, True Lies, Titanic, his best film to date, and now, Avatar. Right, I've seen pretty much all his movies except for True Lies and The Abyss. And I love Titanic's on my favourite list of all time. And does Avatar surpass Titanic? Wait and find out in this review. Okay, now the plot of Avatar, it stars Sam Worthington as Jake Sully. This kind of like this physically disabled, um, you could sort of speak, um, Marine who decides to take over from his brother who unfortunately gets killed in a mission that he's about to take over, which is to, he, they want to try and invade this planet called Pandorum and what happens is that they have um, a valuable resource that's worth millions of dollars a kilo. So they end up trying to they end up transplanting um, Jake Sully's personality into an avatar, which is mixed of the human DNA and the Pandora occupation DNA called the Natives. But of course, as you probably well know, it's um, Jake Sully befriends them. So what happens? It ends up becoming a life and death situation to protect the planet of Pandora from the humans. So that's a basic plot of the film. So right, let's see. What did I think of Avatar as a whole? Avatar, I thought, was a near perfection masterpiece. Um, but there were a couple of little, just a teeny couple of little criticisms, but we'll get to that later. Okay, now let's get straight into the pros and cons about the film. Pros about the film acting is very, very good in this film. Right, Sam Worthington pulls off a believable Jake Sully performance. I didn't find him to be one liner or one dimensional in any way, shape, or form. Um, slightly better acting, I think, is Sigourney Weaver as um, Grace Augustine. For those of you who don't know who Sigourney Weaver is, she portrayed Ellen Ripley in the Alien films, which I happen to have, but I can't show in this video. But I've got the quadrilogy. Pretty good movies. Anyway, so Sigourney Weaver's Grace Augustine. Um, what else do we have? Some guy played the villain. I can't remember what his name is, but I thought he did a really good job as well. Um, and Michelle Rodriguez is one of the side characters, whom I thought was brilliant. And Zoe Zeldana as um, the main native that Jake ends up falling in love with. Now... The acting, I thought it wasn't one-dimensional, but it was pretty much two-dimensional acting, or very good acting, if that makes any sense. And they kind of made their characters believable. I felt for them as the end of these situations. I know I'm repetitive a lot in my reviews, but this is the way I do tend to feel. You know, um, but Grace Augustine, for me, was my probably my favourite character. Simply because there was the most life in her character, and also, you know, pretty good comedy elements when needed. So... Enough about the acting. What did I think of the film in general? So let's get into this. The visuals are amazing in this movie. Absolutely breathtaking. Um, uh, seriously, if, you, if you're going to see this movie while it's still in cinemas, although it might still be out, it might not be, we don't know. But if you're going to see this in any format, see it in IMAX 3D if you can, or at least regular 3D. If you see this in 2D, or even on a pirate copy, <laughs> sorry, disgraceful pirate copy, um, you are disowning the quality that this movie is. You will not get the feel to, che to cherish it like I felt. And I saw this on Christmas Eve, uh, mainly because we wanted to go on a Wednesday because of my orange phone, orange Wednesdays, but other people thought the same idea. So we ended up going the day after. But overall, so what else did I like, love about the film? Right? The visuals are amazing, and the 3D actually works. The 3D for me is the one of, Avatar for me is one of the only films that is used 3D in the proper format it's meant to be used and not just as a gimmick like in other films like The Final Destination or Up even. Yes, even though they're two really good movies, um, and yes, even The Final Destination, don't judge me, um, I do feel that they kind of used the 3D as a gimmick and it didn't seem to work as well. In this movie, it clearly did work. It clearly used it to the extent where my auntie who I saw this with was literally like this. And I was laughing my ass off at that point. At that point, you know. I mean, the 3D legacy works stunningly in this film. What else do I love about this movie? Um, 
despite the length, the pace of the movie was pretty good. It actually moved along at a pretty good pace. I was interested enough in what was going on. I was invested in what was happening in the characters, the story, the situations, the action, which is another thing I need to mention. The action is awesome in this film. Not quite as good as the action in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, not that quality style, but nonetheless, it is a pretty good war, war, war style action. So that's that Z right there and there. You know, um, and I thought that the ending of the film was pretty good. So now, let's of course get on to the couple of little nitpicks and cons which I did not like about the film. Right, the first thing that the script... Right, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention one more thing I did love about this film. The cinematography is awesome, editing awesome. Technical side, James Cameron really knows how to work the camera and I really felt that he is easily one of the greatest filmmakers out there. My personal favourite is Christopher Nolan, e.g. The Dark Knight, my favourite film of all time, but there you go. James Cameron has a really unique style that is clearly envisioned on the screen and imprinted on into, the, into one's mind when watching the film. Anyway, cons about the film. Now, despite this movie being awesome, it was still not quite perfect. Right. A couple of little things. The script and the story are so predictable. Right, I could. You can obviously guess from what, even watch even before going to see the film through watching the trailers. It's a James Cameron film. Now, admittedly, there was just something about Avatar that made it really predictable. I, I guessed from a mile away how it was going to end, and I was completely right. I was completely correct in how it was going. I'm not going to say it in this review because it's a spoiler, and I don't really want to say what happens. But at the end of the film, I was like, right, I so knew that was going to happen. Not, I'm not trying to sound cocky in any way possible, but I did actually think that was what was going to happen. Another thing I didn't like, the length. It's a bit too long. I think maybe we cut off about 20 minutes of it. It could have been a better film, but... You know, these are just nitpicking, remember, but it was a bit... It's 2 hours and 45 minutes. I mean, even that does kind of feel long, particularly if you're seeing it sitting in an uncomfortable chair. <laughs> Look, and the, like, the last thing I really liked about the film, the format. The IMAX 3D. Is it worth it? Definitely yes. It makes you feel like you're there. It makes you feel like you're in this Pandoran world, and it makes you want and it makes you escape for a couple of hours, which I like. What the film did really well. So overall, to sum things up quickly, Avatar for me is the best. Was the best. Was the best film of 2009. Easily five out of five stars. It's a near perfection movie, though it has some little nitpick of flaws. I think this is James Cameron's second best work. To me, Titanic was slightly better. The reason being for that was that it wasn't, it was not, it didn't have a predict. Of course, yes, it was a ship sinking, but admit, yes, it did. It, the, the story was executed a bit better than this film. But overall, like I say, Avatar is James Cameron's second best film. It's easily a step up in his career, and the 3D is pretty amazing. And there is no doubt in my mind that there's going to be. In fact, James Cameron has stated himself that there's going to be a couple of sequels to this film, at least one. So, review of Avatar, 5 out of 5 stars, perfect movie, and was the best of 2009. So until next time, you two, Michael Bowers, signing out.